I've tried to record the lesson five times and it just doesn't want to be recorded. So I'm just going to record the practice. I'm just going to start with a part of the lesson. All things are valuable or valueless, worthy or not of being sought at all, entirely desirable or not worth the slightest effort to obtain. Choosing is easy just because of this. Complexity is nothing but a screen of smoke which hides the very simple fact that no decision can be difficult. What is the gain to you in learning this? It is far more than merely letting you make choices easily and without pain. Heaven itself is reached with empty hands and open minds which come with nothing to find everything and claim it as their own. We will attempt to reach this state today with self-deception laid aside and with an honest willingness to value but the truly valuable and the real. Our two extended practice periods of 15 minutes each begin with this. I will not value what is valueless and only what has value do I seek for only that do I desire to find. Closing your eyes Repeating this in your mind, I will not value what is valueless, and only what has value do I seek, for only that do I desire to find. Now sink deeply into your mind. You are opening your hands to receive what waits for you and everyone who reaches unencumbered to the gate of heaven, which swings open as he comes. The gates of heaven swing open for you. See yourself drifting into this space Feel the light of heaven, which is your own. Should you begin to let yourself collect some needless burdens or believe that you see some difficult decisions facing you, be quick to answer with this simple thought, I will not value what is valueless, for what is valuable belongs to me. I will not value what is valueless, for what is valuable belongs to me.
You do not ask too much of life, but far too little. When you let your mind be drawn to bodily concerns, to things you buy, to eminence as valued by the world, you ask for sorrow, not for happiness. This course does not attempt to take from you the little that you have does not try to substitute utopian ideas for satisfactions which the world contains. There are no satisfactions in the world. Today, we list the real criteria by which to test all things you think you want. Unless they meet these sound requirements, they are not worthy desiring at all, for they can but replace what offers more. The laws that govern choice you cannot make, no more than can you make alternatives from which to choose. The choosing you can do, indeed you must. But it is wise to learn the laws you set in motion when you choose and what the alternatives you choose between.
we have already stressed there are but two choices. However many there appear to be, the range is set, and this we cannot change. It would be most ungenerous to let alternatives be limitless. and thus delay your final choice until you had considered all of them in time and not been brought so clearly to the place where there is but one choice that must be made. Remember, each choice gives you either everything or nothing. Therefore, you must learn the test by which you can distinguish everything from nothing so you can make the better choice. If you choose a thing that will not last forever, what you chose is valueless. A temporary value is without all value. Time can never take away a value that is real. What fades and dies was never there and makes no offering to you who choose it. He is deceived by nothing in a form he thinks he likes. Maybe you think that to take away a thing from someone else has value. Do you have nothing left either? This is because when you deny his right to everything, you have denied your own. You will therefore not recognize the thing that you really have, denying they are there. Who seeks to take away has been deceived by the illusion loss can offer gain. Yet loss must offer loss, and nothing more.
you are keeping the protection of the halo around the ego that it protects its goals from tarnish and rust that you may know how innocent it is keeping these goals, these ideas in mind protects the ego keeps you trapped thinking that the unreal has real value even though its camouflage is a thin veneer which is your deception do you wish to continue being content with being deceived its goals are obvious if you want to see them you are deceived in thinking that you have gained if these conditions are met and you believe that you are serving the ego's hidden goals but not recognizing it remember if you are doing something to get or to keep something in time it is valueless you are here to give the eternal give the love in your heart give the experience of peace and joy to everyone and that is real value no matter where you are or what you're doing shopping being with others real value is in the giving of everything value what is valueless and only what has value do I seek For only that do I desire to find may be drawn back to this world over and over of the values the judgments the perceptions but you can still at any moment enter in the gate of heaven which swings open as soon as you go towards it letting go of all needless burdens You do not value what is valueless, for what is valuable belongs to you. Have a wonderful day.